So this is a piece of untrimmed tri-tip. Take a boning knife, flip it over to the back side where it's not trimmed. Stick the point under the flap of fat, cut it away from you. You can lift it up, and you start trimming it. I would not recommend this if you're going to use it for uh, doing a barbecue tri tip, but if you're going to cut it up and uh, cook with it, you can extra fat off. See that old blue membrane on the meat right there? Mm -hmm. You want to trim that stuff off. That's what makes the meat tough. Oh. Okay, so now you're almost trimmed. I don't have one of those dives. Must add to my collection. You only need two knives. You need a boning knife and you need a chef's knife. You only two knives you need. If you want a third one, get a cleaver. Wow. Can I get you so serious about both? Quite serious, quite serious. Matter of fact, Leather wants to sponsor this shit. Oh my god, that's great! Okay. That's trimmed. Boning knife, chef's knife. Well, uh, I don't want to interrupt your practicing. Cut across the grain. Grain's going this way. Cut across the grain. I always tell you cut across the grain by the way the meat looks. <laughs> this piece is kind of big. Cut this in half. Get this fat off here. So we're going to slice the meat into like 16th of an inch pieces. Should I pause? Yeah, you can pause. Okay, so you, you cut your, you ready? Yep. So you cut your meat now. Mm -hmm. It's roughly about, oh, Oops. pound, pound, pound and a half. I over-zoomed. Here we go, okay. Goes into your bowl, mixing bowl. A little bit of salt. Six salt? About a half a teaspoon. About two tablespoons of soy sauce. Just a little pinch of a... Uh, baking powder, huh? Baking soda. Oh, baking soda. Yeah, duh. The baking soda helps tenderize the meat. And then you just mix it. Do you have to let it sit for a while or anything? You have to let it marinate for a while. How long is that? About an hour. Oh, really? Okay. But as you can see, color's not. You can still see the meat color in it. It's too light, so you can add a little more soy sauce. Another tablespoon or so. So when you're done, it should be dark brown, not red. No, just a little bit more soy sauce. This trite is really sucking it up, which is good. There's a lot more flavor that way. You want to mix it up real good, so make sure all the meat's covered with it, so it marinates. It also dissolves the 
the baking soda and gets in all the meat. So that's what you look like when you're done. Nice. Okay, pause. For your card. Okay. So you have your leeks. First thing you want to do, rinse them off real good. And most restaurants will kill you for doing this stuff. They chop the head of the leek off. They usually put it in the soup stock. We don't use it. Cut the, cut the tail. Cut the tail. You want to split it right down the middle. The reason you want to split down the middle is because you want to wash in between the leaves and the leek. Because it grows out of the ground, you have dirt. Oh, wow. Okay. So you always want to take it apart. And wash it. Wow. What, what the heck white, is what, a leek, anyways? It's uh, like a garlic stock. Huh. They call it, Chinese call it a giant onion, but it's not it's more like a garlic stock. What other dishes have I ever seen leek in? Um, mostly beef dishes or soups. Real popular in soups. French cooking. So you take your leek, cut it in half, and you can chop it really fine or you can cut it coarse. Personal preference. I like it a little bit more coarse because it's, uh, you can, it's easier to eat. But for people who don't like the flavor of leek or a lot of green, green stuff, then you'd cut it a little finer. So you're cutting it diagonally. Diagonally. So this one's not a smush one, right? What? Like we did with the green onion? No. In fact, there's no green onion in this dish at all. No, I meant, remember last time with yeah. the green onion, we did you did the mash and then dice. Yeah, I did the mash and, mash and dice to have the flavor come out. So there's your leaf. Put it in a bowl. So the leek stays as is. There's no flavor added to it. Oh yes, the jalapenos are coming. The jalapenos are coming. I love the jalapenos. Okay, smush. See, so two jalapenos. That goes with your leek. Oh. Actually, I chop. I usually chop a little finer than that. Yeah, I was gonna say this is a big chop. Yeah, for the jalapeno, you like to chop a little funner than that. But, but big enough for Sammy to go, uh oh. Yeah, big enough. <laughs> I chop big so you guys can pick it out. Normally, chop it a lot finer. Ginger. Ginger. About three or four slices of ginger. That is cooked with the meat. So you don't put it together with the leek, you put it together with the meat. Okay. Okay, that's it for that.